As the 2024 Paris Olympics approach, there's a storm brewing over the basketball courts. It's more than just a race for gold. It's a battle for the true title of world champion. What does it mean to be a world champion in basketball? This question was sparked when Noah Lyles, the celebrated track and field star, boldly challenged the NBA's claim that its champions are world champions. His provocative statement sent shockwaves through the basketball community and sparked a debate that refuses to die down. You know, the thing that hurts me the most is that I have to watch the NBA Finals and they have world champion on their head. World champion of what? <laughs> the United States? <laughs> Lyle's words struck a nerve, drawing reactions from basketball heavyweights like Kevin Durant, who defended the NBA's global reach. Is Lyle's critique a wake-up call or just a naive misunderstanding? As the discussion rages on, one thing is clear. Team USA is more motivated than ever to prove their dominance on the global stage and silence the doubters. While Lyles might technically be correct, his comments have ignited a fire under Team USA. The players are now more motivated than ever to prove themselves and silence any doubters. Their recent stumbles at the FIBA Basketball World Cups have only added fuel to this fire, leading LeBron James to summon his Avengers, a group of elite players determined to reclaim their dominance on the global stage. When the roster for Team USA was announced for the World Cup, eyebrows were raised, particularly regarding the limited size and star power among the squad. Only four had been honored as NBA All-Stars, with Utah Jazz's Walker Kessler being the sole player naturally positioned at center. Furthermore, this was the first international outing for every member of the team, leading many to doubt their potential to make a deep run in the tournament. Despite these concerns, the team showed some strength early on. They swept through their exhibition matches with a perfect 5-0 record, and continued their dominance through the first four games of the tournament. However, they encountered an obstacle when they faced Lithuania, falling 104-110 to in what was considered a significant upset. Nonetheless, this didn't affect their Olympic ambitions. The team did secure their spot in the 2024 Olympics, rebounding strongly by demolishing Italy with a score of 100 to 63, advancing them into the semi-finals. Their journey met another hurdle against Germany, where they narrowly lost 111 to 113. Still, a bronze medal was within reach as they faced off against Canada. The tension peaked in a dramatic moment when Mikal Bridges grabbed an offensive rebound off his own missed free throw and sank a game-tying three-pointer to push the game into overtime. Yet, the extra period was challenging. Team USA managed to score only seven points in overtime while Canada took control, ultimately securing the bronze medal and leaving Team USA to reflect on what just happened. The narrative surrounding this team at the World Cup painted them as an unexpected success story. Despite a lineup filled with NBA talent, calling them underdogs wasn't quite right, though they only boasted four combined all-star appearances among them. Among the standout stories was Austin Reeves, who, undrafted just two years prior, emerged as the team's second leading scorer, averaging 13.8 points on an impressive 56.6 shooting percentage. The 2020 number one pick, Anthony Edwards, led the team in scoring. However, the team's vulnerability was its size, struggling defensively due to their lack of height. The NBA currently prioritizes centers that can stretch the floor and create space, which means there just aren't a lot of American-born centers dominating the boards. Walker Kessler found a spot on the roster partly for this reason. Despite the wealth of NBA talent, Team USA's fourth-place finish at the World Cup sparked debates over the NBA's global dominance and talent. And this result left many questioning whether the NBA championship should truly be considered the crowning of the world champions. In response to the World Cup's outcome, there were whispers of an Olympic super team being formed under the leadership of LeBron James for the 2024 Paris Games. Riding on the tide of these rumors, LeBron rallied his top-tier group. The 2024 Olympics roster saw a significant overhaul, with only Anthony Edwards and Tyrese Halliburton from the World Cup team making the cut. Both performed well during the World Cup, clearly demonstrating they weren't the reason behind Team USA's losses. This year, USA basketball has been a powerhouse on the international stage since as far back as 1936, boasting a record of 143 wins against only six losses and claiming 16 titles over the decades. 
This illustrious history is highlighted by teams that are not just collections of talent, but icons of the sport. The legacy began to take a modern shape with the 1992 USA basketball team, famously dubbed the Dream Team. This was the first Olympic squad to include NBA players, featuring legends like Michael Jordan, Scottie Pippen, Magic Johnson, and Larry Bird. Their overwhelming dominance was clear as they cruised to a gold medal, with an undefeated 8-0 record, setting a high bar for every team that followed. Following a setback in 2004, the Redeem team was formed for the 2008 Summer Olympics, with a roster including LeBron James, Kobe Bryant, and Carmelo Anthony. This team mirrored the success of the 1992 Dream Team, going 8-0 to capture the gold. Since that victory in 2008, the USA basketball team has successfully defended their title, a streak they aim to continue at the upcoming 2024 Olympics in Paris. The current roster reads like a who's who of the basketball elite. LeBron James, Stephen Curry, Kevin Durant, Anthony Davis, Jason Tatum, Bam Adebayo, Devin Booker, Drew Holiday, Anthony Edwards, Tyrese Halliburton, Joel Embiid, and Kawhi Leonard. This year, the team features the oldest U.S. Olympic men's basketball roster in history, averaging 30 years and 9 months. For LeBron James, the Paris Olympics could serve as a grand international finale as he approaches retirement. If this team performs as it usually does, imagine a summer filled with fine wine, winning basketball, and worldwide admiration. An ideal situation for James. His journey will likely be filmed for a future documentary. Another key figure is Kevin Durant, a consistent high scorer. KD has led the US in points per game at the last three Olympics. In Tokyo, he surpassed Carmelo Anthony's career Olympic scoring record for an American man and is now just 52 points behind Lisa Leslie's overall US record. Durant has the opportunity to outdo Anthony's record of Olympic men's basketball gold medals. Stephen Curry is attending his first Olympics, though he's no stranger to international success. Having been part of a gold medal winning FIBA World Cup team in 2010 and 2014. Interestingly, the U.S. team will be coached by his Warriors head coach, Steve Kerr. Adding a fresh narrative, 2023 NBA MVP Joel Embiid, originally from Cameroon, was granted French and U.S. citizenship in 2022. Despite having options, Embiid chose to represent his adopted home in his debut at a major international tournament. Reflecting on last summer's World Cup, it's notable that the team had no players with prior Olympic or World Cup experience. Anthony Edwards and Tyrese Halliburton, who were part of that roster, are now making their Olympic debuts. This year's roster is stacked with decorated champions. This squad contains a collective of 11 Olympic appearances, 10 gold medals, and 3 FIBA World Cup titles. Altogether, the U.S. will bring 12 NBA All-Stars, 4 NBA MVPs, and 6 NBA champions to Paris, making this team one of the most experienced and anticipated in Olympic history. The lesson from the World Cup was a clear signal for Team USA. They needed a bigger, better, and more physical team to effectively compete against top international opponents. This necessity will be tested from the get-go as the U.S. men are set to face Serbia in their opening game, a team led by none other than Nikola Jokic of the Denver Nuggets. In response, Anthony Davis and Joel Embiid, who is recovering from a knee injury in February, have been brought in to boost that front line, offering a stronger presence than what was seen at the World Cup. On the perimeter, Drew Holiday and Kawhi Leonard, coming off knee issues that sidelined them for the final games of the NBA season, are expected to provide solid defense, complementing the team's deep scoring abilities. Should health concerns prevent Embiid, Leonard, or any other player from participating, this team has prepared a comprehensive contingency plan for every position. The 12-man roster was chosen from a group of 41 candidates. The appeal of the Olympics was significant, not just because of national pride, but also because of the chance to be a part of an event in one of the world's top cities. Among the notable players who didn't make the cut were Jimmy Butler, Paul George, James Harden, Damian Lillard, Donovan Mitchell, and Chris Paul. Also left off the roster was Draymond Green, who wasn't included in the initial pool, and Kyrie Irving, who has faced major suspensions in recent years. Rising stars like Paolo Banchero, Chet Holmgren, and Jaron Jackson Jr. were edged out by the veteran heavy lineup, and players like Ja Morant and Zion Williamson, dealing with injuries, were not considered even for the initial pool either. 
Under the seasoned guidance of Steve Kerr, who plans to make his final bow as an Olympic coach, and assisted by an all-star coaching staff including Eric Spolstra, Tyron Liu, and Mark Few, the U.S. team is ready not just to compete, but to dominate. With a roster that blends seasoned champions and hungry newcomers, the question isn't just about winning gold, but about reaffirming their status on the world stage. The stage is set in Group C, where the U.S. will encounter tough competitors, including Serbia and South Sudan, along with one yet-to-be-determined qualifier. As heavy favorites, Team USA's journey in Paris is not just a quest for another gold medal. It's about proving a point to the world and themselves. Can they live up to the legacy of the dream and redeem teams? Will they silence the doubters who question the NBA's claim to global dominance? Only time will tell.